Happy Halloween. While the spooky stage isn't quite as pervasive in video games as the snow level or the desert, there are plenty of games that love to throw in some ghosts and goblins to vary things up a bit. And as a little Halloween treat this year, I wanted to talk about five of them. No Castlevanias, no Resident Evils here. I'm Joe, this is Same Name Different Game Guy Den, and we're talking about five sensational spooky stages in non-spooky games. Let's start with a real classic, DuckTales on the NES. Capcom has plenty of experience with spooks and scares from the Ghosts and Goblins franchise to the Resident Evil series, and in their classic globetrotting platformer starring the world's richest duck, players find themselves in Transylvania, not just once, but having to return a couple of times. Full of ghosts, mummies, haunted mirrors, and more, Scrooge hunts for treasure here before coming face to face with his regular foe from the TV series, Magicka Dispel. When finishing the game in the same stage, Dracula Duck serves as the final boss. And while the moon theme gets all the praise as far as music goes, this level has some great tunes too. Super Mario 64 is a landmark game, and playing it when it was brand new was an eye-opening experience, and that definitely includes the first time I saw one of the Mario Boo Houses in 3D, with Big Boo's Haunt. Full of boos, with spiders prowling outside, this haunted house has false walls, creepy eyeballs watching Mario, and in what I can only assume to be a tribute to 70s Japanese horror movie House, a carnivorous piano. There have been better spooky Mario stages, and I could have done five just from Nintendo's flagship platformer series, but none stand out in my memory quite like seeing this one for the first time. Harmful Park is a Japan-only cute-em-up for the original PlayStation that has long commanded high prices, but in this day and age there are plenty of ways to check it out, including a fairly recent English fan translation. Not that you need that, it's a shooter. Any dialogue is incidental at best. But this is a game that takes place entirely in an amusement park. And stage two is the classic haunted house location. This level features ghosts and demons, a giant Frankenstein monster giving you the middle finger with lasers, and a final encounter in a garden facing down a massive jack-o'-lantern boss. This is a super fun entry in the genre no matter what time of year, the horror house is perfect for October. Most people making videos about classic games on the internet, myself included, probably wouldn't be here without the influence of James Rolfe. His character, the angry video game nerd, was one of YouTube's biggest early breakout stars, and made Screw Attack and Game Trailers household names on the nerdier parts of the internet in the 2000s. It's a bit surprising that it took until 2013 for the nerd to get his own fully licensed game, though it's not surprising that when he did, it took the form of a throwback Masocore platformer, and given James' love of horror movies, you had to know it would have at least one stage with that theme. It actually has more than one, but today I want to look at Boo Haunted House, featuring a bunch of references to old nerd Halloween videos, from Jason and Freddy being the bosses, here referred to as Bimmy and Jimmy, another classic AVGN reference, to the witches and jack-o'-lantern enemies, referred to in the AVGN Nightmare on Elm Street video as the most stock possible Halloween enemies. Even if you aren't a fan of the angry video game nerd, if you like old school style platformers, there's something to enjoy here. If you know me, it shouldn't surprise you at all to know that Cuphead is among my favorite games of the last decade. The rubber hose animation style coupled with run and gun gameplay hit a total sweet spot for me, and I just can't get enough of this game. And that includes the spookiest stage in the game, well, except maybe when you fight the devil at the very end, Railroad Wrath. Cuphead and Mugmen ride alongside a ghost train, facing a ghost who throws his eyes at you, a giant skeletal conductor, two monsters who spit electricity, and finally the spectral locomotive itself. Everything about this is gorgeous to look at along with the rest of the game and a fun challenge to boot. Much like AVGN Adventures, if you're looking for a modern game with classic sensibilities, look no further. And hey, that's it. 
Thanks for watching and not forgetting about me. Happy Halloween. I had to get something out for Halloween. Uh, it would feel wrong to miss a Halloween for the first time in uh, 12 years now. Uh, I've, I've made Halloween videos every year, so um, thanks for watching. I hope to be back to regular video production soon. Um, and, you know, do all the normal stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. It really does help the channel. Uh, me posting videos more often would also help the channel. But thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.